for years I dreamed of going to Comic Con, but never had enough time or money to go. I would see Instagram pictures and vlogs of others who went and would just dream of the day that I finally got to make the pilgrimage to the center of nerd culture. After many years of wishing, I found myself as a small speck amongst a sea of my geeky kinsmen. The buzz of enthusiasm rested in the air and sparked my wonder as I caught glimpses of amazing cosplay that people obviously poured their hearts into for the duration of the year just for this one moment. To my surprise though, most of my preconceived expectations ultimately muted the vibrance of the actual experience. There were two things that I confirmed when I went. One, I am very bad at vlogging, hence the John Green style thoughts from places type video today. Two, as expected, there were a lot of comics. For some reason, I didn't expect for the con to be as claustrophobically crowded as it was, and that might seem obvious, but as I walked infuriatingly slowly through a crowd of people bumping my shoulder whilst pondering the logistics of my impending death if the event of zombie apocalypse broke out at that very moment, I also wondered why I didn't expect to be so hot or uncomfortable. But there I was, hot, uncomfortable, and surprised about it. It turns out that my expectations had set the stage for an underwhelming yet very overstimulating shell of what I expected Comic-Con to be. All of the panels and celebrities I had been very excited to see were scheduled for Saturday, the day that I tragically missed when tickets went on sale. The artists we were hoping to see turned out to be impossible to find, so in an effort to salvage the concept of Comic-Con that I had fallen in love with, we went to the showroom floor to buy some things and ogle stuff that we could not afford. And even after getting to Comic-Con late, we stood at the doorway three hours after arriving, hesitant to leave for no other reason than we paid so much to be there. Shouldn't we stay? But we'd seen everything. There was nothing more to see. And it was as we finally decided to leave that I realized all we did that day was buy things, so simply put, we had paid money for tickets to pay money for things. But in the shadow of that understanding, I then realized two more things. One, I love cosplaying. Even with the very casual costumes we threw together at the last moment, multiple people asked for our photos, and when I was walking down the street, I had never felt more invincible. Two. It's not the first time I had sensationalized something in my mind only to have it fall short of my expectations. I've done this multiple times with movies and events and people and this was absolutely no different. And I've come to find that hyping up something and having it let me down just means that I've let my happiness depend on something that can't fulfill me. What I reminded myself of when riding home on the subway was that these moments are less about the event and more about living life and embracing the experience. The lens which you choose to view life can easily dictate your happiness. Comic-Con was wonderful, not because I got to see celebrities in panels and cool cosplayers, but because I spent the day breathing in an experience with my best friend as we marked something off of our bucket list together. We were superheroes for the day who lit up the days of a little girl in a Walgreens and an eight-year-old boy on the side of the street. And the fact that walking home was more fun than Comic-Con really solidified my belief that life is exhilaratingly wonderful within the mundane and that it's okay when things don't go as you expected. If you enjoyed this video and want to become a member of my Awesome-tastic guild, please do me a huge favor and subscribe and subscribe, hit the subscribe button down in the corner for more videos not like this, <laughs> but definitely like other stuff. Like this video, share it with friends, and comment with the last time something didn't go as you expected, but it ended up being pretty darn awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Crystal. Stay awesome. Bye. Okay, so we're going home. We realize there's, there's there. something. There's danger up the block in the park. Uh -huh. Where? Somebody's getting arrested. Thanks. I mean, uh, uh, we, we have to go. Okay. That guy just said there was danger in the park. Away, Nightwing. Go. Da -da -da -da.